Hello and welcome to the Chilled Investor. This is not financial advice, always do your own research. In today's video, I'll be looking at Free Trade, one of the many online share dealing platforms available today. Now, Free Trade offers three different accounts one which is free, which is their basic. The next, which is the standard, and that costs four ninety nine a month, and then the next one, which is their plus account, which comes at nine ninety nine a month. And I'll be looking at all three. The first, the basic account. Now this is completely fee free, so nothing to pay per month, nothing to pay per trade, which really gives a good start. The only issue is they don't offer an ISA in this account, which means as your investments grow. They could be subjected to tax as you're only allowed to earn a maximum of £2,000 in this way before incurring tax, whereas an ISA completely avoids this. Look at both the standard and the plus account. Both of these offer an ISA and both of them offer fee free trading. So let's look at the differences. Now, many people like to keep a lump of cash in their stocks and shares ISA ready to use when the market dips. And these two accounts reward you for doing such a thing. So a standard account offers you a 1% interest rate on the first 2000 pounds, which could quite easily offset the cost of this account. But then when we look at the plus account, this one gives you 3% on up to the first 4,000 pounds. So potentially giving you around 120 pounds a year which would effectively make this account free. Now a possible advantage with the Plus account is that they also offer a SIP, a self-invested pension plan, which would give you tax breaks on the money you invest. Effectively for a standard rate taxpayer, this would be 20%. So if you invested £10,000 in the year, at the end of that year, you'd also massively get another £2,000 added. Now before you go and start up a, a SIP, I would take advice or reset to make sure that is a good option for you because there is quite a few terms and conditions a few restrictions on that but if those restrictions fit your um, situation then it could be a great deal to go for now there is no one size fits all when it comes to which you can't to go for so i'll discuss a couple of different options to see where each one would suit best so if you can only afford to put a very small amount away each month say maybe £50, then the basic account might actually be the right account for you due to not having any monthly fees. Now, if you can afford to invest more, say £5,000 a year, then the standard could be a good choice. Although even at this rate, the basic still does offer good value for money. As on £5,000 a year, you wouldn't really expect to reach the limit of £2,000. So it could still be a good start to start with the basic but long term, I believe the standard would be the better option. I know if you can invest a much, much larger amount. For example, if you've been saving up in a normal cash ISA for a few years and you've got quite a bit in there and you can max it out in the first year by putting £20,000 straight in, then the plus could be a better option, especially if you're looking at using a SIP because with a 20% tax back on that, you could really maximise your savings potential. And of the 3% reward for keeping £4,000 capital, you can really afford to wait, do your research and make an informed decision as and when the market drops to the price you want to pay for the shares. If you found this video useful, please think about subscribing. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything else you want me to discuss, stocks and shares related, please feel free to drop us a comment and I'll see what I can put together. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.